Now, it may only be the middle of July, but it's never too early to start talking about back to school prep. With tryouts for school sports due to start before the semester as well, joining me to talk about physicals and how to keep your children up to date on vaccines going into this new school year is Dr. Shahid Mohammed with Mercy Health. Hi, Doctor. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. So I guess we'll start off with the physical side. Um, so uh, how busy does it get towards the start of the semester when parents start bringing their children in for physicals? Yeah, so a lot of the times towards the end of the summer, um, it gets very uh, busy. It's hard to get parents in just because right when the summer starts, it feels like summer is going to last forever. But as you know, it's only over a month away. And now our clinics are starting to pick up. Um, availabilities are decreasing. So my recommendation would be try to get in as early as you can just so that you can get it out of the way. And how important are these physicals for the children who want to be participating in these high school sports? Absolutely. So not only are they important for uh, students who are in sports, but they're uh, really important for kids of all ages. Um, we make sure that you're hitting all of our developmental growth uh, milestones. Um, we try to catch any sort of upcoming disorders and then uh, identify any needs of um, any of the students might need when they're in school. When it comes to sports physicals on the, um, on the hand, we're, we want to make sure that they're physically um, not putting themselves at a risk. One of the more particular things that we pay, pay close attention to is their um, heart health. Um, we want to catch anything abnormal going on with the student's heart health before it becomes a problem because it can lead to some catastrophic results. Right. And moving on to the vaccine side of things, obviously there are some vaccines required before we go back to school. Um, what kind of vaccines do, do you uh, handle uh, when, when people bring their kids in? Correct. So it, um, there are uh, needed vaccines uh, throughout different stages of um, the schooling they go through. Um, typically, by the time that they reach elementary school or first grade, we want them to be vaccinated against tetanus, um, diphtheria, pertussis, polio, um, haemophilus influenza, pneumonia, and the chickenpox vaccine, um, along with the hepatitis B vaccine. Uh, different stages of their um, education, so by the time they're in sixth grade, there's a few other vaccines that either are boosters or start of things like meningi uh, the meningitis vaccine, which is an infection of the um, the brain. And only by doing these regular physicals, we keep everyone safe. Perfect. And last question for you, doctor. Um, what do you do? You recommend that these parents for both vaccines and physicals bring your children in just as soon as possible. I absolutely, absolutely. Um, if we were in, in, to run into any complications or delays, we don't want to risk um, having a negative effect on their education or keep them from school. Um, we want to optimize their physical and mental health before returning back to school. Um, and if you get it or if you come in early, um, if you identify some treatments that we need to do, we can get that done before going back to school. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Mohammed. Really appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day and a great re weekend, OK? All right, you too. You guys stay healthy. Absolutely. We will try.